Får ni ropa in alla? Jo. Alla. Nu börjar det.
Thank you. 
Australia and the places and oh. like I'm really interested in the Aboriginal I'm not Aboriginal I'm mm. an Australian colonial person but I lived with Aboriginal people and I from when I was little I was really interested in Aboriginal people and I told my grandfather once my father's father I said oh, I really like Aboriginal music I thought no you don't <laughs> <laughs> I do I think it's really cool. but um when I was older I met Aboriginal people and that's when I started playing didgeridoo but I, and I've had one Aboriginal teacher he's dead now but I'm not like a, in any way a traditional person. I'm no way connected to Aboriginal. And this is becoming an issue in Australia now because Aboriginal people are becoming more assertive about their culture. And this is not just an instrument, it's like a sacred object and it's connected to, the, uh, to their stories. And um, it has all these rules about it and stuff like that. But I've been playing for 25 years and I left Australia in 1996 and then started playing in Europe when I was living in squats and all this sort of stuff and playing on the street. Some of you have seen me playing on the street, so I don't do it so much in Stockholm anymore. But um, it's an incredible instrument and it's like when you breathe, for me breathing I get very high, but then I think also when you hear it, it has some sort of effect on your mind and the music I try and make, and this is what this music is, mm -hmm. it's difficult to think. That's what I'm trying to do, stop people from thinking mm. when they listen to the music. And then other things come up, you know, like these emotions and, and feelings and ideas and stuff just emerge when you're listening to the music. And I think it's very much connected to very ancient music. I think really ancient music was more like this, even in Europe, everywhere. Pan, the god Pan, I think he didn't play this like doo -doo 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 -doo, melody mm. stuff. I think it was all like... <laughs> and it's much more kind of scary in a way, but it's also very strong and you feel much more in touch with it. So um, that's what I'm really interested in. And I've got a lot of didgeridoos and I, I love it, but I feel very humble towards it too. It's, just, it's like I'm, when I'm playing, it's like I'm riding on top of something. It's like it's a snake, it's connected to the rainbow circle. And it's a male totem from Northern Australia in the middle, just from one group, but it's spread all over the world. And a lot of people are using it for a lot of strange things. But, in Australia, it's becoming more and more about respecting the instrument and respecting the people. This is good. And you should all go to Australia. I recommend it. <laughs> Get away so from the far. cities. Don't stay in the cities. Get out of the cities uh, and try and find like smaller communities. But it's an amazing country. Yeah. Thank awesome. You. Thank you for listening. Thank you. No, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 